Welcome back. Thank you, glad to be here. How was your experience with Autumn? Autumn is incredible. She was so helpful, and I feel like I learned a lot over the time that I'd spent with her. So do you think you've transitioned to nine millimeter completely, or? I think so, I hope so. Good, good, <laughs> excellent. Well, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna have you shoot a group on the top circle of this target, and then we're gonna jump into the next skill. Okay, sounds great. All right, let's do it. Good job! I love what I'm seeing here. I know your first one is probably like, whoa, I'm back <laughs> on the range again, right? Yep. <laughs> and then your next four are like all on top of each other. And then you had one that you dumped a little bit low, that, uh -huh. that classic shot anticipation that uh -huh. we know that we feel. But I feel this is an absolute wonderful starting place that okay. I want to talk about a skill that's going to be very important for you for self-defense, personal protection, and that sort of thing. And it's called the press out. And basically, regardless of how you carry, whether it's in a purse or a holster, this is an important skill to practice because this is where the gun will be when you may need to shoot. And this is a very realistic distance. Okay. And basically, I am clear, you're going to start from this position with a gun pointed downrange, aimed at the general vicinity of your target. You're watching your target, and as soon as you feel that you need to shoot, you press out and pull the trigger quickly. You don't have to worry about having that pinpoint beautiful accuracy. If this is, someone is coming at you, you need to be able to stop the threat. And this is a great drill to practice that. Okay. We're gonna practice it with dry fire a couple times. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Okay. Put the gun down for a second. All right, this is your target. Hold your hands out. Pull your gun in, pull your gun in like this. Go fast. No, that's not fast. Punch me. Come on, faster, you got it. Faster. That's what I want. I want fast. I want it like you actually punching, like okay. think of your gun as your tool. This is, this is how you're gonna stop that threat, okay? okay? So smooth is good, I want fast. Okay. All right, let's try that a couple more times in dry fire. Go, punch it. Good. Go. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. That was perfect. Do you see how it feels? Yeah. The trigger control was excellent too. I mean, that gun didn't drip, dip at all. It was uh -huh. awesome. All right, so let's load it up. We're gonna start at that ready position. I just want you to take one shot, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. All right, where are you? Oh, you're aiming at the top one. I even want you to aim at the bottom one. Oh, that was an okay. amazing shot. That was awesome. Awesome. Aim at the big, big blue part, because okay. we want our target to be really big. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stand by. Go. Just the way Jasmine is Go. walking onto the range, I can see right off the back that this is going to be a great session. She's totally in a different place than she was when I first met her, and it's so exciting to see. So one thing that I'm noticing is that you're down here and you're aggressive, and then you're coming up for your stance to shoot. This is your power stance. Keep it oh, down low. Yeah. And this is where you're gonna be aggressive and you're gonna be able to control everything. Okay. So don't resist the temptation to come up. To okay? do squats, okay. Yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> now we're gonna introduce something that's called a controlled pair. Okay. So this is where we're gonna take two shots at the same target. Okay. And so you're gonna press out and shoot two. We want you to see sight picture on every single shot that you make. As soon as those sights lift, as soon as they come back down again, that's when you squeeze the trigger. Okay. Let's go ahead and load them up. Go. It definitely was a little frustrating at the go. beginning because you don't have the time to set up and make it that perfect shot. With go. speed, you just have to go and you have to trust your instincts and you have to do the best you can. But sometimes that's what you have to work with. You're doing awesome. Cool. Now. I know you've talked with Natalie about different concealed carry options out there. Yeah. And I have set you up with a holster today that I think will work for this scenario. Okay. But concealed carry is a journey, okay? It's a very personal thing. Um, you know, I can make recommendations, Natalie can make recommendations, the world can make recommendations, but at the end of the day, it's what you're comfortable with. Uh-huh. So try this out, see how you like it. And, okay. And, and it really got a good feel for it. But we're gonna actually draw Okay. Holster today. I want you to come around here and look at me this way. Okay. So basically, you're gonna come up, get a really good grip on the gun, extend to this position, like the press out, and then press out onto the target. So we're gonna go through that a couple times, and go. Good. You wanna do it with some bullets this time? Yeah. All right. And holster. 
Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Stand by. Go. I think that everything that we're seeing on the range is totally gonna translate to Jasmine in real life in the way that she walks, the way that she carries herself. There's nothing meek about her. There's nothing hesitant. She carries herself in a way that is so inspiring and that confidence that she has with a firearm, her gun handling skills are absolutely amazing and I am so excited about it. Good job, good job. All right, now, gonna add one more thing in there. This time we're gonna do control pairs from the draw. Okay. But when you're done, keep the gun out, or if you're gonna bring it in, be very, very aware and be ready to go to shoot again. Don't be so quick to holster. It's not a race to get back. Okay. Okay, go. All right, what was the problem with that one? My grip. There you go, you got it. All right, holster again. So training with a holster was a different experience, something that I would have to get used to if this is my choice, but it's good practice to draw the gun from a position that's not in your hands already because in real life, you're not walking around with a gun in your hands. Go. So Julie seemed really positive about my improvement, which is really exciting and really refreshing to hear. It's really enjoyable to just get out there and watch yourself improve and watch yourself progress. This is great, go ahead and bench it. So this is a great target. This tells me so much that you're ready for your CHL test. I can tell just from the first session that we had to now, and I, I can't wait to see where you're gonna be at the end when we all catch up. It's gonna be, you're night and day different as a shooter. Well, thank and, you. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. Well, thank you. All right, so practice the skills we've worked on. Good luck with that test. Thank you. And uh, the next time I see you, you'll, you'll be like official. Yeah. And I can't wait to catch up with everything It's exciting, done. can't wait. awesome. Thank you so much, I no, really appreciate it. My pleasure, you Thanks. great. <laughs>